I'm delighted to be in Prague once more and uh, be able to listen to outstanding young ensembles uh, and to two of the most extraordinary chamber music works. We'll start with the first movement. Thank you. 
would like to pay attention to the difference of Forte and Fortissimo. It's meaningful. And Beethoven was, on the whole, very precise. Also in his dynamic markings, very diminuent, very crescendo style. It's usually a precise point. Uh, I'm very grateful that in the fifth bar, you expand a little bit before this unexpected note that uh, makes the beginning go astray. You know, suddenly on, on F. But what happens there? It's the cello that keeps the note and keeps it in fortissimo for a bar. Make it sound like an explosion when you come in with, with a lot of, of fast vibrato. Mm -hmm. And only in the second bar, go down. Shall we try that? Yeah, yeah, not enough, Dolce. Yeah, no, please, melt my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> Yes, but combine. Don't don't make a break here. Go directly in. Yes, yes. For my yes, tiaram is too fast. Okay. Directly there, Dolce. Sorry, we had forte, and then there's fortissimo. There was no difference. Make it really uh, uh, a slightly distinctive difference. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do 21. Now, even with in the fortissimo, this uh, interval does not have to sound uh, non espressivo or anything of that sort. And when I sing it to myself, it's ti and not ti You know what I mean? I, I like meaningful portamento. <laughs> the same. Yeah, very good, very good. The chords in the piano could be even fiercer. You can give a little more fear. Yeah? Uh, fortissimo, 27.
Yes, yes. yes. Now I would like uh, to have to dear, 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 dear. Would be nice just to have it a little bit. Yeah. Directly. Forty three. Yes, yes, it's not what I read, you play ra ta di ram ta di ram ta di Would be nicer. 51. Yes, very good. In bar three and four, can you give more vibrato? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, double bar. Yes. Now, for, for, for my musical mind, tiara should never sound like ti ta ra ti ta ra ti ta ra ti ta Make it more, more legato and, where possible, portamento. Uh, let's do piano 88. Yeah, when you have this phrase here, over four bars. Uh, look at it a little bit geographically. Yeah, you're going out one step there. So don't leave it completely on one plane. Uh, 96. Yeah, it's from the second to the third bar. Da 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 di da da di da di. Let's do it again. Suggest forte and not fortissima. Uh, four bars before.
very good. Uh, can you imagine that uh, for this little retard that you do, you start already one bar earlier in bar 155. So the last pianissimo, which is 149. Yes, yes, beautiful thing. When you have this long pianissimo leggermente bars, do dynamically nearly nothing. Just make it non legato, okay. uguale. Uh, can we start directly there, 183? long enough. Okay. Not take them away halfway. <laughs> bum, 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 beams, bum, beams. Mm -hmm. uh, 207. No, no. Para da de de a de a de a de a da 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 de da de de. A little accents on these F sharps on the on these repeated notes. <laughs> Let's start. Eh? Yes, yes, dear pianist, the upbeat padiram, padiram, is sometimes too soft. Give the fast upbeat an accent, so that it's clear enough. Uh, two to four, or rather the, the bar before, two to three. Come too late. Be there. Uh, Two fifty. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yeah. If you are a little slower here, which is fine. Stay. Stay calm. Don't don't get faster. Yeah, I always have the impression that you are too late. And I think that's correct impression. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to combine these two phrases rather than separate. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm pointing on you and he's playing. Yeah. I apologize. <laughs> <It was me. laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> Now, this completely different dimension, musically and personally, another world.
now question. There's sort of vulture at the beginning. I don't think it's for the whole piece. You play very little vibrato in this piece. Mm -hmm. I do not agree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a, a fashion these days. Uh, it's like, oh, we had too much vibrato in the past, now we have to come to cut down. There is so, so many possibilities within the vibrato. No, I think we just... And when you it. use it, it's, it's usually very measured. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I agree at the beginning. <coughs> uh, generally, in the whole piece, la, pa, da, 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 the triplet should be always clearly articulated. Fingers, not, uh, yeah, wherever it is, not in parentheses, but in the uh, dynamics of the main voice, the cantabile voice. Let's, let's try that at the beginning. No, no, not more. Make it clearer. Yes, yes, good. I, I just want to, you to pay attention that it is piano sotto voce and not pianissimo. Okay. <laughs> Yes, sorry that I go, go very much into detail, but you have these three first notes. For me, the second and third note do not really hang together when you play it. It's like ti, ra, ti, no, ra, ti. Read, uh, lead to the higher note at the end. Yes, the pianist always comes a little bit too soon with your entry, each time. Please don't do that. Let's do it again. Yes, yes, dear cellist, 
Can you sing more? Yes, sing. definitely. This is not quite as a singer would sing this. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit too restrained. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Directly there, cantabile. Yes, subito piano. The mistake that we all made a hundred of times is then to play pianissimo. It's piano. <laughs> careful with the bass re register. When you play extremely loud in the bass register, it's usually too loud. Mm -hmm. It's the nature of the piano bass. Also, you do something, you have opened the piano completely, which I would have never done. It was not done in my younger years in chamber music at all. And now it is fashionable, and it's sometimes to the detriment of the, of the string players. Let's try. And when you, when you start this bass octave, go on from it for a while and then take on. Let's do directly 14. Yes, yes, now calm, completely calm. Don't be faster. Hardly any dynamic. If you do anything in the first bar, make a little crescendo and then play pure piano. But absolutely controlled. Do the, the, let's do the same. Yeah, now, how short should these notes be in the left hand? We have the lying voices of the strings. So I don't know whether we need so much pedal here. No, no, you, when you start, start there, think, play a little slower, even if you don't. Mm -hmm. You play a little faster. Yes. Wait. The three notes. Yes, yes, dear violin. It happens rather often these days that violinists play with too little vibrato. Mm -hmm. Why is that so? Uh, I think it has Who to is it asking for you? <laughs> yeah. It is there is such a loss of expression. 
It should not be there all the time. Okay. No, the triplet is not clear enough, so... Sotto voce. crescendo there. In the phrase, the last note is a longer note. Mm -hmm. yes. Play it longer and, and with crescendo, within the crescendo. Okay, okay. Let's do again, 19. Dear pianist, if you have the piano open, this bar is too loud. <coughs> you are covering. Yeah? You have quite a lot of notes there. In the pedal, they accumulate. Let's do the crescendo. the upper D here, with the crescendo. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yes. It doesn't sound like that. Sorry? It doesn't sound like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be happy to be there. Once more. When you have tari, tari, with the shorter note, mm -hmm. the shorter note should be more accented, not less. Uh -huh. It's a matter of orthography. You can uh, see it in Mozart also. When, when he has two notes, and the second note is half as long and has a, a, a rest. Mm -hmm. Usually the second note is to be accented and not the first.
no, 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 tirerara, tirerara, riri, quasi staccato. Yes, I would think that in, at the end of bar 37, beginning bar 38, you do a little retard on the last three notes, not only on one. It would sound better. Can we try that? Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry to be so picky, but uh, I love your playing. But can you think that you can connect the first note with the second? <laughs> Not just straight. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Directly there. No, not ah. But this decrescendo even better. Ravishing. <laughs> Start intensely and then gradually get away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The bar before. Yeah. Very good. The, the, the ornament. Clear. Mm. Bring out all three notes of the ornament, not in parentheses. Uh, 54. No. Clear. Yes, yes, pianist. No, ti da di ti ro ri ri ro ri ri ro ri ri. Let's do it again.
Yes, now what are we doing here at the end where the major is coming in, the F sharp? We have to do something, not just play it, 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 it passes by. Uh, you have G and then F sharp. Yes. In the last G H, bring it out a little bit and lead to the F sharp. Can you play that for me? Yes, yes, yes. Little bit more dynamically, but uh, it was good that the, the, the tiny Rita Dando that you did. We want to notice what's going on. No. Uh, not, it was too immediate. Good. Yes, where the crescendo starts, it should get louder already, where the, mi where the maggiore comes in. Mm -hmm. Directly there, and not half, half, a, half a bar later, or, yeah? Uh -huh. okay. It's sometimes really am amazingly precise what uh, mm -hmm. Beethoven writes down. Okay. Try it out. Uh, sort of what? Uh, 64. Thing. Mm -hmm. Mozart, uh, the father in his piano school, writes that for every instrumentalist, the singer must be the model. Now, if you would sing to you what you play here and go up the six, it doesn't sing at all. It is not the, 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 uh, the, the, the physical necessity of the singer. Uh, pianissimo, 70. Yes, you see, when you play O, D, Da, it doesn't sing. No, it doesn't. Please ask your left hand to be a, a little more alive. Now, do you 
think that here you could be even softer, completely pale in sound, dead. Uh, let's do the piano before. Yes, when you play da la da di, la da di, give the higher note a little more sound and room. Not pa da pa da da. No, too fast. A little tea daddy. Yeah, good. Good. Yes, yes, beautiful. When you come in here, think that you speak directly to us. You are not remote anymore. Yes, it is pianissimo, but not pa, pa, pa. Play legatissimo, mm -hmm. from one note to the next. Yeah, can you play the long note? Ah, ah, and have a, a tiny crescendo at the end of the note to lead into the next note. It's still, it's still not legatissima. And it's partly the left hand that is the, not active enough. Now, presto alla breve.
the little note and the, and the first note needs more uh, articulation, more clarity. And never forget that cantabile is this normal state, not something exceptional. There was so much talk about the, the speaking music, Klangrede, that Cantabile has fallen into oblivion. And we have to recuperate it. Shall we start again and then in, in bars 9 and 11, be very careful about the little notes. Yes, sorry. In, in the last bar, there is a sforzando, but not on one. You played para, pari. It's not. Not what is indicated, sorry. Yes. No, I still hardly hear the little note. Uh, pinch it. That, yeah, that. You know what, what pinch, pinching is? Yes, and give a little accent on this note. Yes, please don't take away the last note so much. Da 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 of a long line. Mm
Yes, yes. Now, here you have the same thing. First played by the first violin, and it has a slur. Then by the cello, and it doesn't, doesn't, the notes don't have a slur. Please make it legato as well. Pa, pa, pi, pa, no, pa, di, 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 di. <laughs> Where shall we start for the Make it one phrase. Mm -hmm. The long note, keep it out, go on with it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fifty-five. Dolce. Now, for my old ears, the main voices are in the strings, and the piano is too loud. It's, it's all the open piano, but what can we do? Uh, I mean, it is now so ingrained with some younger musicians that they think I'm stealing them the privilege of being audible. <laughs> Uh, Dolce. Pianissimo delicatamente. Play delicatamente. Yes, but articulate better. Yes, and if you can, make a diff difference between piano delicatamente and then pianissimo. He did not write papa, papa. If he would have liked that, he would have written for Sandro. Mm. 
pam 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 pim pam 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 pim let's do 122 forte and with this for sunday <laughs> Yeah, now, there is a, a belief that phrases have to have a diminuendo at the end. This is a fashion, which I hear these days all day, da di da da No, da di da da di da da di da 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 They are phrases who lead to the last note, like this one. I would play more and pia, 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 against the grain. Well, pia, 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 is a bit uh, uh, pedestrian. <laughs> uh, let, let's do again the pianissimo, upbeat 166 strings. Yes, dear cellist, needs more control in every note. Let's try it, Dolce. Yeah, the rhythms. When you have four, when you have five, when you have six, there should be exactly rhythmically in the right place, mm -hmm. not just improvised. Okay. Yeah, now it plays again and in one sweep without stopping in the middle. violinist, I did not hear your crescendo at all. Let's do it once more. Yes, yes, yes. With your octaves here, boom, boom, boom. Don't make so much noise. Yeah. Let him make the crescendo more than the, yourself. Let's do it again.
for me, for my feeling, the fermate, fermate are too long. Mm -hmm. Make a little bit of it, but not too much. Yes, and here, don't lose the first note. Ta dia da da di da, ta dia da da di da. Let's do it. No, and don't take away the last note too much. Da 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 da, ta dia da da da. Ah, yeah. To ask you, you play all around him. Do you like this sound? Now when you Why do you do it? <laughs> you have a left hand. You have a singing instrument. There is, for me, nothing more punishing than a long note without vibrato. <laughs> and please, Remember that in 238, it is forte only, not fortissimo. Mm -hmm. Let's start there. Yeah, again, please, don't take the last note away too much, mm -hmm. and don't shorten it. Let it sound. Okay. <laughs> Dolce. Uh, two, seven, one. Now, for my uh, feeling, this fermata is too long, or you spend too much time. <coughs> Hold it a little bit and then go on immediately. Uh, fortissimo. <laughs> yeah, the first note, dolce. Yeah, it's because it's the fermata, so... Dolce. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The runs that you have here, very even. Don't improvise them, control them. Yeah. 
Yes, but where the theme starts. Show it. Yeah, last note, long note. It needs to carry on. For every long note that you sustain and sing, I send you a kiss. <laughs> Thank you very much. Robert.